Hi boys and girls, it's Miss Kraus. We're going to keep working on area and today we're going to have some practice with the distributive property. So let's take a look at the assignment. I'm going to do the first slide as an example for you and then you're going to have three slides to do on your own. So here we have, it says slide the purple rectangle over the dotted box to reveal a hidden relationship. So we're going to take our purple rectangle and we're going to slide it over. Now we have the original purple rectangle, and then we have a rectangle that's the same size, but it's split up into two different colors. And that's going to be our practice for the distributive property and see how we're able to break down a rectangle into smaller portions and figure out an area. Over here it says, what's the value? For this part, all we have to do is find out how many smaller square units are in this rectangle. So we just have to count. I see that it's by two, so I'm gonna count by twos. Two, four, six, eight, 10, 12, 14. So the value of the purple rectangle is 14. Now over here, it's split up into two different colors and we're gonna start with the blue. So let's find out how many squares make up the blue portion. Two, four, six, eight, 10. The value of the blue is 10. Now we have the green left. 2, 4. The value of the green is 4. And I know that 10 plus 4 is 14. So they took this purple rectangle and they split it into two different parts, found the area of each part, and then when they added those two numbers together, they got the same total as the original rectangle. That is exactly the distributive property that you learned in the video you watched today. So for the next part, it says, what's the multiplication problem? This is where we need our equation. And we know that for area, we are using multiplication. So I'm going to count on the side. We have one, two times one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Two times seven, and I know that two times seven is 14. All right, let's look over here. Now we're going to do the same thing with just the blue portion. I have one, two, one, two, three, four, five. And to check my work, I can ask myself, is 2 times 5, 10? And it is. We have one more section to do, which is that green section. 1, 2, 1, 2. And is 2 times 2, 4? It sure is. Now, if you notice on the bottom, it has a check your work spot. So after you are finished with both of these portions, you can slide this over and you can check to see if your work was correct. We have two times seven equals two times five plus two times two. So we got this answer correct. Now, what's left for you is you're going to do the exact same thing for this page. There's another purple rectangle and it's gonna be split up the same way as that slide was. One here and another one. So you have three total slides to do the exact same thing that I just showed you on slide number one. So give it your best shot and make sure when you're finished you press that turn in button. Have a great day.